Hey gang, it is Easter weekend here at Walt Disney World and I decided to come hang out on the boardwalk. We're gonna eat at their soda shop, Beaches and Cream. I even wanna show you an area where you can build your own Easter basket. I think they even have some decorations here we can look at. It's just a beautiful day here in Florida, so I'm gonna live it up and do all the Easter things here on the boardwalk. So I'm gonna need your help, so come along. Come along. It's based off our name. I also brought this guy along because we might be renting one of their Surrey bikes here on the boardwalk. And you know, every time I do a physical activity on this channel, I need... <laughs> yeah, you need your, your <laughs> I need the muscle. <laughs> now, truly what inspired this video, I think last year when I was here during Easter season on the boardwalk, I saw in their shop that you could build your own Easter basket. And I thought that was so cool. I never saw anyone show it before or do it before. So I'm hoping that they still are doing it this year. We got to go check it out. And yes, they are still doing the Easter offerings this year. They have a little bit of everything. You can get just some regular Easter candies. They're even doing a Easter egg mystery pin trading over here. But this is what we are here to check out. Their custom Easter baskets. I mean, check out this little stitch one with all the pins and the lanyard and the ears. That is perfect. They have a whole Beauty and the Beast bell themed one over here. I think we're gonna make our own, but I wanna go check out the other pre-made ones that they have. This one is so adorable. Check this out. It's a full boardwalk themed basket. They have some popcorn, a little boardwalk cup and pin, and then even the boardwalk building ornament. That one's really cool. And you wouldn't believe this, but they even have a full wish basket with the little doll in there and the ears and some candy. That one is so Eastery and fun. Now, I really like all those pre-made ones, but especially because they have ears and dolls and things of that nature, those baskets can run you anywhere from $100 to $150. So we're gonna do a build your own and you can just go throughout the store and get candies, toys, whatever price point you want. The only thing that you will then have to pay for in the build your own, obviously are the things you choose, the basket and then the wrapping. So the basket and the wrapping is just $11. So anything else you wanna put it in the store, you can kind of choose your own price pretty much. So we're gonna grab a basket. <gasps> can that go in the basket, Trav? Yes, it could. It's a Kylo lightsaber keychain. Wait, is this basket is for me? Who is it for? <laughs> I love that they have like, you know, just like old school little like almost Publix baskets in here. Here you go, Trav. Okay, I think we decided to make a Star Wars Easter basket. You guys know I've been celebrating Star Wars Easter for a while. So we got the little blue lightsaber and then some Star Wars pins to start. We got to find some more Star Wars items. And they do have some Star Wars glasses that could go in the basket here. I really like these like uh, light speed ones. And I wanted to show you guys right on the glass case there are two Promise Hope items that I get a lot of questions about. You guys ask me about my Epcot glasses. They're right here, right here in, uh, on the boardwalk, as well as the giveaway little eyeglass one. holders. Look at that. They found some back stock. There's only one. Oh, there's only one of that? Yeah, those are popular. Better come get them. All right, what else do we got? Oh, these are yeah. perfect. They're like Mickey rock candy sticks, but they definitely give like lightsaber vibes. Those, those are perfect. They didn't really have like a Star Wars pin or pencil, but this one was giving me Star Wars vibe, like a little Mickey star pencil. And since it's an Easter basket, of course, you know, little bunny Mickey, he's got to make a, an appearance in there too. We got all our items and we're gonna hand them off and uh, the Easter Bunny will do his magic and we'll come back in a few hours. Okay, that kind of felt weird. I've never purchased items at Disney and then went, here you go, you can have them back because <laughs> you purchased them at the counter. They, you know, take record of everything you wanted um, and then they take them away from you and you can choose to come back later in the day. But since we have a dining reservation, they said we can go ahead and eat, hang out on the boardwalk and then our basket will be done by the end of that. So I think that is such a fun, exclusive thing that Disney World does, especially if you're here on vacation and you kind of like forgot with the kiddos that the Easter Bunny is coming to town. Um, my basket still ended up being $100 with annual 
no pass holder discount, but like I said, you could just put one Mickey plush if you want in there. You can just put whatever you want in there. I went a little crazy once I saw some Star Wars stuff. I'm gonna bless one of my family members with it on Easter. So I, that was so much fun. And just so you guys know, a lot of other resorts do this. I saw Saratoga Springs is doing this as well as the Contemporary. I think just go up to your front desk and ask them, what are your Easter offerings? Speaking of offerings, I think that they have another offering calling our name here on the boardwalk. The bikes? The Surrey bikes. Are they called Surrey bikes? Surrey just makes me think of I Australia. Guess. Surrey bikes. Was that Australian? <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. know what that was. I don't know what that was. Let's go head to the Surrey bikes. We're going to get to bike in to our dining reservation across the pond, literally over there at Beaches and Cream. <laughs> another teamwork exercise like the kayak job. This is beautiful. It's such a beautiful day for it. Mine is not spinning at all. I feel like I don't even, I feel like I have a fake kid steering wheel. You have the real one. Don't steer. And the brake. I just help I pedal. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is so fun. And <laughs> we did already exercise today. It's a little bit of exercise, but you get to people watch. They did say to not go on the sidewalks. You have to stay like right on the boardwalk here, but it's pretty easy and it's just a full loop. We can check out the progress on the cake bake shop. Not too much. I can't see too much what's going on. We know what's going in here. Delicious sweets and treats. All right, let's go up the hill, Trap. up the hill. All right, we're coming around the bend. Give give them a little notice, Trav. Let them know we're coming. What? Give a little mom. Mama said dinner's ready. Actually, I think lunch is ready. recommend this enough this is so much fun um they It'd be more fun if it was just like a golf cart or something <laughs> I, have to I know work. i know but we can't bring a golf cart onto the boardwalk i mean you can hear the boardwalk I mean, underneath just, of us i mean i just saw some well maintenance that, over there. that was maintenance <laughs> but yeah this is so much fun especially with the weather being nice i mean come on i'm in a hoodie on a bike in florida outside and we're not sweating it's so wonderful we were gonna leave it there and eat at Beaches and Cream, but we realized, oh, we only have it for a half hour. And I don't really wanna pay $60 for a whole hour just for it to be sitting there um, with us not on it. So we're just gonna take it back. We did a fun little loop, looked around, um, and then we'll head to our dining reservation. You guys, with this jazz music playing, oh, I'm in heaven. Like in the 50s or something. <laughs> I'm definitely living my best life on the boardwalk today. Now, a little birdie told me, Trav, what? and by little birdie, I just mean you, so. you told me, so. and not, now I know, um, that you've never been to Beaches and Cream? Mm -hmm. What the heck? I know we hadn't been together, but I figured you had definitely gone alone. No, because I've always heard that it's like hard to get into, so I never even really tried to do it. Well, not today. It's not hard. We got a reservation. Let's see if the food matches the hype well or is it not gonna be i, I don't understand why it's so <laughs> it's more just it a classic like food. disney restaurant simple food milkshakes um uh, you guys know what i'm getting there's gonna be a big cheese pull but didn't people like it before it got renovated better? yeah it had a little more it soul before it got renovated. Now it's a little bit bigger, but that's because it was so hard to get a dining reservation before. So they expanded it, made it a little bigger, and now we are able to finally get a dining reservation there. So let's head inside Beaches and Cream and check it out. And 
let's take a look at the menu. Oh, of course you know they have the specialty shakes. But yeah, they have hot coffee, some adult hard floats and beverages, all the hot off the grill items. So there's sandwiches, more desserts, more shakes and sodas, and of course, sundaes. So Trav, I don't know if you knew this or not, but uh, this place has ice cream. I, I don't know if I, you could tell. I couldn't tell. <laughs> And take a look at this as soon as we sat down I'm seeing one of their specialty shakes of course it's an Easter shake it's a carrot cake milkshake we might have to get that look at the little carrots on top so let's grab some grub hot off the grill I'm gonna of course be getting their beaches and cream grilled cheese served with creamy tomato soup for $16 and Travis went with their patty melt. It's Swiss sauteed onions and garlic peppercorn dressing on marbled rye bread for $21. Oh yeah, the food has arrived. Fresh, hot off the grill. And I just remembered, how am I gonna do a cheese pull when they already pre-cut the grilled cheese? We're gonna just have to tear one of these bad boys in half and then we're gonna dip the other half in tomato soup and then we're gonna have the best meal ever. I don't know which one to try to pull. I think I'm gonna go for this one. You ready? Yep. Let's see. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty delicious. I think the only thing that will make it just a little bit more delicious is a good old dunk in the tomato soup. I literally don't order grilled cheese anywhere else because Travis will attest to this. I make a mean grilled cheese, um, but I'll order one here. This is my favorite grilled cheese ever. It's perfect. It's actually seasoned appropriately and the way that they grill the toast, amazing. And the tomato soup is like sweet and savoring and it's like hot. It's like temperature hot too. Love it. And check out Trav's patty melt there. They did let us know this used to be on the menu, uh, but it's been off the menu for a while, but it was such a fan favorite that they brought it back. Is it a Trav favorite? Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's good. Really good. Now you can substitute your tomato soup for tater tots or french fries. Uh-oh, something's happening. Oh, they're getting the kitchen sink Sunday. They have a full ice cream sundae here called the whole kitchen sink and it comes out in a full kitchen sink and they have a little celebration when it happens. We're not ordering that today. It feeds four. And so you guys can see what the kitchen sink actually is. It serves four, it's $38 and it's scoops of vanilla chocolate strawberry, cookies and cream, mint chocolate chips smothered in every topping that they have. And then of course, you know, a whole can of whipped cream, but sounds worth it for 38 bucks. But what I was saying before the kitchen sink interrupted me is you can substitute your tomato soup for a side, but what I recommend is having your partner get the tater tots and then you can just steal them and then dunk them in the tomato soup. That is most certainly the way. And then this is for science. Um, I want to see if cheese pulls are better if you pull them right away, like as soon as the sandwich gets too hot, or is it better to let the cheese coagulate a little bit? Because these are pretty much the same size. So let's see. I don't know. That's kind of hard to tell, Trav. I don't know which one was better. They kind of they kind of were different in their own way, but I want to say I think maybe wait a little bit if you're trying to get distance for your cheese. And you can't come to the soda shop without a soda or a shake, so we decided to get the carrot cake milkshake. It's vanilla milkshake with toasted marshmallow, pineapple shortcake, and topped with a specialty carrot cake for $15.50. Trav, you wouldn't believe this, but it tastes very, very milkshakey. All right, let's try to take the full, oh my goodness, 
<laughs> carrot cake part off the top. It's cold. That's pretty good. I don't think it's as good as the actual shake. The carrots on top are kind of like fondant. I just don't think I'm the biggest like carrot cake fan, but the shake is really, really, really good. And this is a cute, cute little topper. Well, what a fantastic meal at Beaches and Cream as always. It was even more fantastic because we ran into a wonderful family. They're a part of the Hay Gang and they bought our whole meal. I, I believe the dad's name was David. So thank you so much, you guys, for being a part of the Hay Gang and for paying for our lunch. What the heck? Now, although it's my favorite grilled cheese on the boardwalk, I don't think that was the best cheese pull I have. If you guys remember, we ate at Boardwalk Deli and they have a pretty good grilled cheese there as well. And that cheese pull was out of this world. Definitely make sure you watch that video. I'll leave that into the description, but the Beaches and Cream one is definitely my favorite tasting grilled cheese. As a first timer to Beaches and Cream, what did you think? How did you feel? I liked it. The patty melt was really good. It was, uh, had everything you want. The patty melt tastes like good flavor and, uh, yeah. It was good. I think everything tastes better too when it's free 99, but we were not expecting that. We didn't know yeah, <laughs> it was exactly. gonna be free until the end. And it was always such a good meal. We would definitely go back. I, I think that now that the restaurant's a little bit bigger, they have more reservations and this resort is so huge. They always have tons of stuff for Easter going on. I think they even have some Easter eggs just like the Grand Floridian does. So we gotta, we gotta go on an Easter egg hunt. We gotta try to find them. Happy Easter from Walt Disney World and over here, the Yacht and Beach Club, they've created a whole Moana egg display. Check these things out. A little Takai egg. That one's really cool, Moana shell. You can even see it like flashing and glowing. Inside, topped with a little conch shell. Oh my gosh, you guys, look who's coming in the main lobby. It's the big man Don. Why does he just look so perfect for the yacht <laughs> in Beach Club? He's all ready to set sail. <laughs> of course, you wouldn't have a Moana display without a little Pua, the little pig. He even is like uh, holding some Easter eggs himself. And we've seen these guys before. They've definitely become famous Easter egg choices. Even at the Grand Floridian, they have the giant evil coconut display but we got three cute little ones here as well and this one is very sweet this is Moana and her mother I love all the green on that one all the green icing and it looks like a they're you know hunting for some green Easter eggs too okay I think that this one is my favorite check that out it's Tamatoa the little crab he has the heart of Tafiti in his hands, of course, Maui's hook on top. This is so perfectly done. I love this one. And Moana's boat on sea. This one's just beautiful. Look how they did the water with like the like taffy or something right there. Okay, I can't decide if I like the crab or if I like Moana's grandmother better, of course, in the form of the stingray. This is so beautiful with like the galaxy egg, how it would look. And then of course, uh, a little hidden Mickey in the paint there. These are so great. I'm so happy I stopped in to see these. Oh, this is where the characters are going. It's a character palooza right out here at the Yacht Club. Look, Pluto's even here. The whole gang is all here. So I guess there are even more eggs on the beach club side. Uh, this is kind of the yacht club side, even though really the resorts are fully connected. So I think the pastry artists for the eggs are the same. So we still have one more batch of eggs to find. They sure do have their own display over here. Check this all out. They did a full Groot topiary, just like the one at the Flower and Garden Festival in Epcot. That is perfect. They nailed it even down to the little tape on top. And uh, you can definitely smell the chocolate coming off of these things. Okay, this is adorable. A little pixie hollow house. How perfect is that with the light on? 
a little spool of thread and buttons at the bottom. Very cute. Oh, a Japan pavilion dragon. Oh, yes. Just like the Flower and Garden Festival topiary in Japan. They nailed that with the succulents on the body and, of course, the background of Spaceship Earth. Yes, I think all of these are kind of topiary themed because this is like a little Chippendale topiary. They spilt the carrots or are they trying to steal the carrots? Maybe that's definitely what they're trying to do, I think. And then they have another Pixie Hollow house. This is so cute. It's like a tipped over teapot and then the door is on the top of it. How beautiful is this? I don't know what they made it out of, but it's supposed to look like mushrooms to make the stairs up to the door. And then last but certainly not least, a full Mickey and Minnie topiary garden egg. Look at that with all the gold trim. That is so stunning. The, the pastry chefs here are just seriously so talented. And I feel like this guy is like in an egg. You're in your like own version of an egg. <laughs> you could never have too big of a chair. Right, we've made our way back over here to Thimbles and Threads. We gotta go pick up our custom Easter basket. Hi! Hi. Oh we are we're, we're just, we're just Oh good, yes, here for my custom Easter basket, please. Oh my gosh, it's right here! <laughs> Let me take this off. Oh it looks so good. Go. <laughs> you guys. I'm sorry, this looks like $100. Look how great they did wrapping this. I love how tight the like cellophane is. Truthfully, I didn't get a lot of stuff, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna be able to like fill the basket and make it look so good. And look how good it looks. They even said they made Easter Mickey a Jedi by having mm -hmm. him hold the lightsaber there. And it says, baskets full of magic. Happy Easter promise 2024. Look how cute that is and the little chick on there has of course ears this is an amazing thing to do if you're here on vacation i just think it's a little something extra special to have a very magical easter happy easter weekend gang i know ours is off to a great start what a fun day at the boardwalk definitely make sure you're subscribed i know there's so many new of you here now so welcome to the channel but yeah make sure you're subscribed and leave a comment below what are your boardwalk must do's i think we did all of our must do's today for sure and as always Please love positivity. And all the good things. Happy Easter. Love you guys. Bye.